video is brought to you by Sutco Transportation, now hiring Super B wood chips, Super B flat deck, Class 1 drivers in BC's Lower Mainland, the Okanagan, and the Kootenays. To apply, go to sutco.ca, use promo code Juanfan, let them know I sent you, get an extra 100 bucks on your first payday, and don't forget to use my name as a reference when you apply for the job. Any bonuses I get, I will split with you. Good morning. Good afternoon. Welcome to Missoula, Montana. This is an extra video. If you guys are watching this, either we're on days off or we're sick or well either way broken down vacation or sick it's all days off it is October 16th 408 p.m. and it is 27 degrees Celsius got a heavy load headed eastbound to Bozeman Montana. Just fueled up here in Missoula. So we're just going to get onto I 90 here and travel east on I 90. It's been a long time since we've been further east than this. Yeah, a long, long time. I think I've delivered one or two loads further east than this. I don't think I've been with you for those. Nope. I, those were, one of them was a special load of super light, two panels. And then there was another, I can't quite remember. But the one, I remember the one I went to, I think Butte or something like that. It's been a long time since I've been this way. East of here. heavy load for US weight, just slightly overweight, enough for me to be nervous at scales. Thankfully scales don't believe in me open. Today is Sunday so most scales are closed. We've hit one open scale. We only have one scale left. According to the app, Trucker Path, that scale is never open. <laughs> Excuse me. The dashboard's dirty. We won't even talk about the outside of the truck. The amount of oil I'm spraying everywhere. Yeah, this is back in the day when I had the oil leak on the engine. The truck is just oil everywhere. It's just it's just gross. We get some shops in. This weekend. Yeah. Hopefully they actually fix it. The speed limit here is laughable because you can't do the speed limit. He can. I'm just going as fast as I can. Hammer down. Once I'm at max speed like I am, set cruise control and then not worry about it. There's no way I can speed here. Trucks are 70 miles per hour, I can do 65. When it's flat or downhill. We do. We stopped and had some of that delicious fudge again. Yeah, we stopped at St. Regis. Just bought some fudge there. Mmm, that was good stuff. I had tea there. I didn't let Jess have any of the fudge. I'm like, if you have the fudge, that tea's not going to be any good. <laughs> have your tea, save the fudge for later. I was going to get one of those Huckleberry shakes, but imagine if I liked the flavor enough to buy it and waste $7 on something. 
trying something. Yeah, but I'm gonna throw it hurting and it's like, ah, I'll go with a hot tea. Yeah. We're a little broke right now anyway, so. But it's so hard to bypass that much. Yeah, it worked out. We, we were running out of hours. We needed, we were coming up to our mandatory half hour break. I was hoping to make it here at the Flying J, but couldn't quite get there. It's like, oh, we're going to run on hours before that. I'm like, well, you wanted foot in St. Regis, so I guess that's where we're going to stop for half an hour, so. And he almost stopped before that, because we're like, oh, this rest area that was closed. So it was just meant to be. The rest area before was closed, so we couldn't stop there. It was meant to be. And you're like, oh, there'll be no parking. Nobody was parked there. I was worried about parking spaces. Not a lot of space for big rigs. Not a single big rig there. I know. I guess. I guess I, I we're getting fudged. The lineup was crazy inside, but there's a lot of personal vehicles. Yeah, four wheelers. Yeah. Sunday, so a lot of a lot of tourists coming in and grabbing there. Look at all these colors. Beautiful colors in Missoula. I suspect we're coming back here to load. Me too. So we're still four hours away from the customer. I suspect we're going to come empty to here and grab a load here. Maybe we'll be lucky and get a load over there somewhere that goes to Calgary or Edmonton or something. Or a load to Winnipeg. We just do a number two hour, or an hour ahead, so. Yeah. Shouldn't be a problem, because we're not going to make it there tonight, so. No, that, that is an issue because we may start early tomorrow. So, what time does our day end today? It is 4.14. Locally, it is 5.14. For some reason, my... Yeah, why are they the same? Mm -hmm. Where we're delivering anyway, it'll be 5.14. We have another two hours and 45 minutes, so that will be 6, 7, 8 p.m. We can get going as early as 6 a.m. their time, 5 a.m. our time. Excuse me, I literally haven't coughed all day. I turned the yeah. camera on and immediate coughing. Your home screen says it's 515 here. That's what I thought. Basically, less than 10 years old. Well, that would be 18 years old. 2004. Oh, yeah, you're right. It's less than 20 years old. It's quite 
It's been a nice day. Yeah. It's chilly at night. Though. Yeah, definitely running funky. I think that's like a nightly thing now. It was almost chilly enough to turn the heat on at home. Well, let me turn the AC on. Turn the AC, I don't know. Exit. If you are, there's no point in me passing you. Ha! I'm just looking at the big dog. That's a big dog in the back of that. Uh, Scion? Scion? What else is called again? I think Scion is Big dog in the back. It takes up the whole car. Alright, leaving Missoula. Back into the mountains. I honestly can't remember what the mountains look like over here, so they may be impressive, they may not. Yeah, there's a zigzag back and forth. It looks like a hiking trail because there's fencing and stuff. Yeah. A hiking good. trail up to that M for Missoula. Figure it out. You're good. You're good. You got it. There's nobody beside me. If I need to help out, I can. I've had one jack wagon today. Just one. Only one. Pulling out of the rest area, making a 90 degree corner from the rest area, it's a stop sign, a uh, right hand turn, pulled in, waited, there's a traffic, so I wait for the traffic to come so I don't cut them off, and all of a sudden Jess goes, watch out for the pickup, I'm like, what? There's a pickup passing us on the right hand side halfway in the ditch. out to the highway before us. I'm like, what the heck is wrong with you? He did get the air horn. It's like, why are you on the blind side doing that? Passing a big rig on the blind side, signaling to turn right, you are lucky not to get crushed. If Jess hadn't said anything, I, I was about to hammer down. Yeah, like you left. Because I'm clear of the yeah. traffic. I'm like, I'm going, go time. And all of a sudden, Jess says, watch out for the pickup. It's like, what? Like, Hold up. Let the jack wagon go before I crush him. And then he drove in front of me at a slower speed than I go. I followed him all the way into Spokane. Half an hour? Probably. Only one jack wagon. Like, it's a pretty impressive jack wagon. If there was a high chance, you would have creamed that guy. Yep. That was, if you hadn't been with me, I probably would have. Yep. Because he was behind you, and then he stopped, and then he backed up, and then he did that. And I'm like, what? <laughs> if you're that impatient and then drive slower than I am, I followed him all the way. It's tempting. Jess goes, no. I'm like, it's tempting. It's tempting to run the guy off the road. She's like, no. I'm like, no, no, I'm not saying I'm going to, but it's definitely tempting. The answer's still no. The answer's no. Temptation was there. It's like, I'm going faster than you. I could just run you right off the road. You can't afford to get into that mentality of uh, road range. Sure, I can. No. I can have the thoughts, I'm not allowed to follow through with the thoughts. No. <laughs> Jess is like, nope. 
No. No. Not even allowed to have those thoughts. Because it's dangerous once you get into that mentality. Clark Fork, we've crossed over that Clark Fork River so many times already. Just kind of following it. It's definitely getting smaller though, the more times we cross it. I believe we're going to take this exit here tomorrow load over here in the industrial area. That's my guess as well. We'll see. I'll be like floored if they go empty. Like that's just there has to be something over Loads here. Loads are getting sparse so hopefully they find a load here. Just anywhere back in Canada. Like is it anywhere Alberta or BC, it doesn't matter where, as long as it's going back to Canada. signs out but I haven't seen them actually migrating yet. I'm not sure how long they wait. To I'm do not that. sure if I really want to see them because that's dangerous. Because those those would right off this truck and get one of those. And we saw somebody that basically rode off the car today. Uh, hit a bear. Yeah, that was a big bear. Nice yellows and reds in here. Oh, well, it's really pretty. Some of the trees are already naked, so. Are we get a mix of like they're either that colorful or the naked or the pink or not pink. Like they're just. We're, we're right in between that. It's the best week. It's the best week of fall this week. This week and next week. That, that tree there is on fire orange. Kind of hidden behind the evergreens. That one's gorgeous. For a while, we were just following it along the highway. Assuming you were going to hang it up. No, I didn't. I did? No, 
I tossed it in here anyway. I assumed that you would grab it. That's the honest truth. While you were doing that, I was still filling out your fuel. It's still what I assumed. Loads are over 15 feet wide stage here. I think they mean stage in that other lane, but or maybe originally we were driving in that lane and it had a stage here. Mm -hmm. If you're wider than 15 feet, you gotta pull over and wait here. I oh, yeah, see wide load stage here. Uh, blades to a big wind turbine. They have three blades, so we haven't seen the third yet. Either either it's behind us and we didn't see it, or it's ahead of us, Bill. Now those are some long loads. So impressive when you see them in real life like that. Well, you see them in real life all the time, but, but they uh, close up. Yeah, on the ground. Up close, right beside you. <coughs> For cars is 80, which is 130 kilometers. Truck is 70, which is 115 kilometers.
road's actually quite nice over here compared to some of the roads we've been on today. There's some section of I-90 there, really rough, especially in Idaho. Mm -hmm. Idaho's got a bad chunk of I-90. Yeah, you know when you're in Idaho. Seems like we're not hitting a lot of bugs now, but I have no idea if the roof cam's going to make it through this whole hour. Because we've been hitting a lot of bugs the last couple of hours. Most of the creeks you see on the hood is all washer fluid. It's weird how the aerodynamics, when you turn your washer fluid on, it drags that fluid up right to the front of the hood. Airflow on the surface of the hood is pulling forward, not backwards. smokes. Where do you come from? Pulled over for the broken down vehicle. I was signaling to move back and all of a sudden here comes the car. And then you go that much faster, will you? <laughs> I should have done what I always do is splitting the lanes. That's what I normally do. I just didn't expect that. Wow. That was a jack wagon move. The cars are driven at least 15 miles per hour. Or yeah. At least. So they catch up really fast. speeding so they're probably 20 miles faster than I am. Mm -hmm. Okay, same thing here except this time I'm gonna take both lanes. Not not letting that happen again.
rock cut here. Gotta do some blasting to make this road. This is not a, we're climbing, but not very fast. It's a very, very, very slow upgrade. Sapphire Mountains. Grass Airport there, got the white cones. The grass has been cut, but not very short, so I'm not sure if that airport ever gets used. Right now we're an hour and 16 minutes short of making it to the customer. So if we start at 5 a.m. our time, we'll get there around 7.30, 8 o'clock. Pre-trip and post-trip added in. It's not, a, not an unreasonable time. I was expecting to show up a little later, so it's good. It's good we're showing up fairly early. We'll get unloaded maybe give dispatch enough time to maybe find us a load, at least communicate a load. At least I can call and talk to dispatch by the time we're unloaded. Yeah, I think pretty decent timing. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Town should take a 
big block of land, put up a bunch of these micro houses, and then let uh, people that can't afford housing live in there for free. spots. All those signs are unfolded. A matter of time before we get into the snow. I guess you guys are watching this. Who knows when. So maybe this is a good break away from the snow. Is there some kid? I guess I-90 and I-15 chair a road for a while. Yeah, I guess I-15 will be north to south because it's a five. Zero is east to west. Yep, yep. You're looking for wildlife. Right lane closed one mile ahead. Now we haven't seen trains or wildlife. Other than dead. Down to 
15 degrees Celsius. Cooling down quick. <laughs> Why we have to merge over this early? They make us merge over like a mile before whatever is under construction. It doesn't make sense to me. Must be some kind of safety thing. But Most of these are just uh, replacing <coughs> bridges. Better get those bales off before your cows eat them enough to make them unstable. Uh, they're having fun with those bales. Super unique scenery here. 
mountains are just different. I don't know what, how, what makes them different, but they're definitely different. See quite a bit of red soil as well. And whenever you see soil sticking out, there's quite a bit of red, some red soil. Yeah, kind of reminds me of uh, Wyoming. Yeah.
Let me guess another bridge. Loads over 15 feet have to stage here again. Yeah, the river's starting to get pretty small over here. Zigzag from one lane to the other. Seems like that's all we've been doing. Got a wide loop. Maybe not wide, maybe over lane. Doesn't look wide to me. Well, if I maybe, uh, should have his lights on. Doesn't seem oversized to me at all. The top of those mountains are pretty cool on the right hand side. Yeah, I station one mile. This is the last scale, I think. GPS says there's one more. is closed. Hey look, there's the windmill. That's, another, that's the third blade parked at the way station. Or did they move when we stopped? I don't think they were moving. No, it's definitely a different truck. So. Yeah, it's pretty cool. There's the third blade. Massive, massive blades.
road even has like the red tinge to it. Yeah, the road itself has a red. Yep, because the gravel they use is red. the little town here and we'll call it a day. So thank you guys so much. I really, really appreciate all the support. Seeing uh, new members popping in. Members? New subscribers popping in. By now, who knows if there's new members. If you're, if, if you're a member and your name's not on the credits at the end, it's because, remember, this video was shot a long time ago. go up and down and credit list changes. I try to keep up top of it at least once once a week I double check make sure that my members list is accurate. So if you want your name on the credits at the end and get an extra bonus video every weekend, hit that join button down below for as little as 99 cents Canadian a month. This is a nice little town. It is. It is for watching we really appreciate it I say we even though just didn't say a word what? <laughs> I been speaking. we are out of here you guys rock Adios. <laughs>